Hey, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to Tardide Chris's channel and my creative life. Um, so today's kind of interesting. Um, oh my goodness. Well, right now I'm at the Salvation Army and I was gonna, um, I'm gonna stop in and just look at clothes and stuff. But my plan originally today was to go to the Goodwill in Dustin, but oh my God, the traffic. I mean, it's a pretty day here. Uh, in mid-March, the weather's warm. It's going to get up into the mid-70s, like 75 today. And it's like someone opened the floodgates to the beach there. It took me literally like a half hour to drive maybe a mile down the, down Eglin Parkway to get over the bridge to um, get to Destin. So that idea got scrapped really quick. Like after about 20 minutes of bumper to bumper traffic and I hadn't even made it down to 98, I was like, oh hell no. <laughs> and the thing is, you know, I'm, I'm a driver. I'm driving today for waiter. Um, it's just a little side gig that, you know, you can pick and choose your own hours, you know? And I thought, all right, I'm going to go to Destin. I'm going to go to the Goodwill and, um, I'm going to drive a little bit and maybe pick up a few orders in Destin, but it became real apparent to me real fast that that was not going to happen. Like Destin is definitely not happening. So I'm on the clock right now. I'm actually driving right now for driver if I, or for waiter. If I get an order in, then um, I'll have to leave the store and go deliver an order, but I'm definitely not taking anything to Destin today. Um, and, you know, sometimes you really can't tell which ones are going to Destin and which ones aren't. I hope I don't get an order for Destin because that's crazy. But um, there's a few restaurants over on this side that don't ever seem to go to Destin. So those will be the orders I'll accept um, today. Anyhow, I'm going to see what I can find here at the Salvation Army. I'm looking for some office appropriate clothing because I will... Hopefully be starting a new office job here in about a week. And I'll tell you more about that later. But um, yeah, I'm just going to probably take a bunch of still shots and maybe a little bit of video inside here. This store typically has just a ton of clothes. So yeah, hopefully I can find something here. All right, you guys, look at that. This is traffic backed up all the way to Uptown Station. All the way up Eglin Parkway, it has never been this bad, ever, that I can remember, even in the middle of summer. This isn't a wreck on 98. This doesn't have to do with anything else but beach traffic and tourists. Like, seriously, right now, we're only about five, six miles from Destin, Fort Walton is. But I guarantee you, if I got in that right now, it would probably take me over an hour to get to Destin. Just to the foot of the bridge. I feel really, really sorry for anybody that has to be out there right now. For anyone sitting in this awful traffic that's late for work. Um, that didn't expect it to be like this. Because like I say, it's never, ever been like this. And it isn't even fully into spring break yet. I mean, this is seriously, in, this is invading our town now. This is crazy. This traffic is crazy. It's never backed up this far before. I mean, I thought it was bad when it was starting to back up down 98 on the other side of Brooks Bridge. But, I mean, here we are. It's a Saturday afternoon. Everybody wants to go out to Destin and eat or go out to the beaches. And um, if you're a local, you're thinking about doing the beach tomorrow, get out there early. That's all I can say right now. Don't freaking think you're going to go at noon and find a spot on the beach or a place to park or anything. This is just crazy. And you know what? This I'm taking this video right here. This is like two hours after the last footage, the last video I took. This is insane. Oh my god, guys. Did you think you were going to take a nice little cruise out to the beach today? You're going to be waiting a long time. Don't run out of gas. Especially if you're over on the island. You'll be really happy with that. Yeah. Hey, so I'm home and I'm going to 
to show you what I got at the Salvation Army. This is my Salvation Army thrift haul. Um, so their shirts I thought were a little bit expensive at $5 each, but I really like the ones I got. And I'm going to take some still photos when I get done showing you. This one's really cute. It's got like some elastic here. It's by George. And I'm not sure who does that brand. And I like this one because it's super gauzy and lightweight. But it also looks a little dressy. So um, I don't know if my new office job, if the girls are going to keep their office hot or cold. And um, if they keep it hot, I'm going to need to wear things that are of a lighter nature. You know, so this might be a potential shirt that I could wear at work. I, I'm not really crazy about the pink, but I think the leopard's really cute, so. Um, then this was just a long sleeve Eddie Bauer um, t-shirt, really soft. It looks like it's the perfect size for me, and it's in my favorite color, y'all. Kind of that aqua seafoam green. Then this is a Laura Ashley, a heavy cotton t-shirt that is just really well made it does have a few little food stains on it but that's not gonna matter because it's a hundred percent cotton and I'm gonna tie-dye it so maybe that would be a fun other video to um, do to show you how I upcycle some of my clothes um, and how I fix things when there's stains on them and such you won't recognize that shirt when I'm done with it and I'll probably do something kind of a subtle pattern on it because I would like to be able to wear it at work. This is also another long sleeve shirt. This is by Premise. I'm not familiar with that brand, but oh my God, it's so soft. And it's kind of a, a blush color. Um, oh, and I love that it's got the little the thumb holes in it. Um, I have a, one shirt right now that has the thumb holes in it and I've about worn it out. I love that shirt so much. So I thought I'm gonna love this shirt too. Even though it's out of season, I went ahead and picked it up. This is a little tank top by Halston. It's a size extra large, but I can tell by looking at it that it will work for me. It's a really roomy shirt. And it has this cute little detail here on the side where it's kind of a little asymmetric side vent on it. I think it's going to be super cute on, and yeah, you can always use another tank top in Florida. And then this one's really floral and kind of dressy, but it's also sleeveless, so it's blousey, which I like. So, you know, I could dress this up with a pair of black jeans for a night out, you know, or I could throw a little cardigan over it for work. So I think it'll be nice, it'll work for a lot of things. Well, oh, here comes Dave to say hi to everybody, Dave. Hi. <laughs> so, and this is, um, I got this little pad of paper. You know I'm a paper crafter. And I thought, hey, that's a pretty good deal. A dollar forty-nine for all that paper. There's plenty, plenty of paper left in this stack. And it looks like the perfect size, too, for making smaller journals, which I like to do. Then I scored this, a brand new Martha Stewart circle cutter with all the blades and everything in it. Um, I had wanted one of these when they first came out, but I mean, I think they were like $20. And I got it for $4.99. And then I got this little stack of paper. There's only a few pieces left, but it was only $0.49. Cents. You see it's sparkly. Oh my gosh, I love this sparkle. <laughs> and it's black and white and oh look at that isn't that fun I love those colors I love these patterns so I think I'm gonna probably focus on playing in my studio for the rest of the day after I take pictures of me in these shirts for your still shots um, yeah not a bad haul they had a bunch of other um, colored paper, but they had already been made into full scrapbook pages, and I thought, eh, I'm not going to do that, um, because I didn't want to tear up somebody else's work, which is what I would have done with it anyways, 
and I figured some mom will come along that'll be so happy to find those scrapbook pages already done. So, yep, yeah, um, stay tuned for the still shots. Thanks for watching, and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.